exhibit is to display aspects of the history of the College Hill business area adjacent to the University of Northern Iowa campus. And the inspiration behind it was the desire to complete an honors thesis project that wasn't another paper. Um, I've, I'm majoring in history and philosophy, and as an honors student, we're required to complete a thesis project or paper by the time we graduate. And I've written a lot of papers for my classes, and I wanted to do something that involved museum work, and that also involved a more project-based approach than, as I said, writing another paper. So I talked to the Historical Society and to Cindy Sweet, who has been a mentor and advisor to me, and she, um, we came up with the idea of a museum exhibit for the project and further discussions resulted in the realization that nobody's really done anything comprehensive about the history of College Hill. So I chose to pursue that topic. I started working on the exhibit in August and I worked on it off and on throughout the fall semester around classes and it really came together over the winter break um, after fall finals and then through the month of January. Uh, the f best part was probably putting everything together, getting everything printed and labeled and um, arranged in the cases. Um, the least fun part was probably that an exhibit tends to take a lot of time to put together and I did not have as much time as I would have liked to spend um, to continue research and put together more information for presentation. One of the first places I looked for resources were the city directories because while they are not entirely accurate, they are fairly comprehensive and they also allow you to look up businesses by their address. So I could look up College Street and look at all the businesses and residents listed in the directory through there. And then the school newspapers would often have advertisements for the different businesses on the hill. So I was able to use those to correct and um, further establish a timeline of what businesses were where. And then for other resources, I looked at um, the history of the University of Northern Iowa that was written by P Professor William Lang. Um, it's called A Century of Leadership. So I used that to provide some context as far as the development of the university. And then just general knowledge of history to provide an overall context including changes such as the Civil War, the World Wars, both World Wars, and the Depression, and other national and world changes. If any other students were, would be interested in creating an exhibit, whether for a thesis project or as part of an internship, I would definitely advise starting as early as possible and doing as much research as possible in the first couple months and then starting to put it all together. Um, don't get caught up in the research. Um, the time you need to interpret the information you gather is just as important, if not more so. Uh, and have a reliable group of people you can turn to when you need help and who are willing to call you out when you need to either get back to work and finish some aspect of the project or when you need to delegate some aspect of the project, um, such as finding all the artifacts that are used. Um, the collections manager here was a great help with that for me. She knows the collections better than anyone else right now, and so she was able to find all the artifacts that I needed in the collections. <laughs>